So yeah, we're in Morocco. This is an absolutely fantastic country to be shooting in, bustling with life. We've got some fantastic cameras. Well, I've, I've never used a DSLR, so I'm just looking forward to learning how to use this thing. Um, shooting some of the hustle and bustle of the city would be great. Morocco seems like an amazing place, so probably the perfect place to start. These markets, they're like nothing I've ever seen before. Walking along the street, there's carts, there's cats, the guys working the market trying to sell you stuff, there's bikes racing past. You look around and there's so much going on, it's difficult to spot a specific photo opportunity in all of that. It is hard, I mean, there is a lot of stuff going on. The light is absolutely incredible here. It kind of creates this kind this dusty haze, which I think should get us a really great shot. What we'll do is we'll tuck ourselves away and just wait for the subject to enter the scene. So something that can really help with so much movement is the burst mode on these cameras. But when you hold down the shutter, it's gonna take a continuous burst of photos. It really helps you to get that perfect shot in a split second. In the streets, in the in the alleyways, in the market, it's, it's you know it's brown and muddy, and, and then suddenly you go into these buildings which have been built in this incredible way, and it, it's a complete contrast. Because the majority of the interiors have all got this amazing sense of symmetry, it's great to keep your lines straight. Here we've got like a, a fantastic archway. We're placing the darkness, and then you're like pulled out because the outside of the shot is light. Yeah. It'd be great to frame that door in the center of the arch. I would use high f stop so that you're getting as much detail in the shot as possible. The architecture shoot went great. We saw some incredible buildings, some amazing designs, patterns on the walls, and took some great shots. I share all my photos via my phone. So I can use the Nikon Snapbridge app, I can come back download the photos straight onto my phone from the camera and then use it to scroll through them that way rather than going through them on the camera. And then it's really easy to share them on social media so I can show my friends and family what I've been up to when I'm traveling. We're heading towards a viewpoint that we've been recommended to go and shoot an amazing landscape in the golden hour. But as we're driving along, rushing there, we're seeing so much exciting stuff to shoot. And Well, now we've got this fantastic ridge in the distance, which looks great. And the sun looks stunning. I would, I'd love to have a, a model in the shot, just yeah. to kind of give us a bit of um, perspective. But we've got some sheep down here. Yeah. Should we go down and see whether we can, whether we can go down? So before this trip, I saw photography as simply you finding something that looks amazing and then you simply take a picture of that thing. Learning from Ross here, it's shown me that photography is much more about creating a great picture yourself. There's one thing reading about how to use a camera and about what the different features mean and how to use light, but it's really the only way to learn that is to, to get out and take photos.